Chapter 2. Mission Accepted. We want you to go in alone, continued Commander South, armed with nothing more than a compass. If you try to break in fully armed, you'll be slowed down. You won't last five minutes. We want you to be a shadow, to slip through unseen. Do you read me? Yes, sir. Every nerve in Haley's mind and body were on red alert. Whatever weapons or equipment you need, you'll have to find on the spot or make do without. Speed is what's important here. This mission has to be completed within hours of your arriving in Outer Heaven. Commander South's stern face and steady gaze told Solid Snake as much as his words did. That this mission was of the utmost importance. Look for a transceiver radio. When you locate it, tune it to Foxhound Command secret frequency. Then you'll be able to receive our radio transmissions. And if you find any snake men alive and held as hostages, set them free. Rescue as many as you can, and we'll pick them up later. But be careful, very careful, Captain Haley. Even when dealing with snake men, don't take anybody's word or anything at face value. Some of the snake men may have broken under torture and turned double agent. You won't know for sure which of them you can trust. And as for Ellen, Dr. Petrovich's daughter, we don't know whether she's alive or dead. If you find her alive, she may be of some help with her father. Try and rescue Dr. Petrovich too, but if you can't, then you'll have to kill him. He's more valuable to the free world dead than alive and in the dangerous hands of Colonel Katevi. Understood? Sir, said Solid Snake, it was understood. In the game of terrorism, the stakes were high and often fatal. The compass you'll be carrying is the latest technology. It will transmit everything you say, and it contains a homing device. We'll be monitoring you constantly on the command center's computer screens. By means of the homing device in the compass, we'll be able to locate your position with pinpoint accuracy and target you to receive the radio transmissions that will give you all the up-to-date information we have. You won't be able to hear us through the compass, so you'll need to locate that transceiver as quickly as you can. As you penetrate the base, the radio broadcast will help you as much as it can. You will be contacted by our agent, codenamed Diana, on wavelength 120033. She will be your control. She may sometimes identify herself as Boss Man. We can't tell you any more than that. Once again, Captain Haley only nodded without speaking. He understood fully the need for secrecy. Once you're in outer heaven, you're completely on your own, continued Commander South. We can't tell you how the base is fortified, or what traps Colonel Katefi and his forces might have set to detect your presence and kill you. You'll have to elude all their traps. Deal with their security forces. Find our lost snake men and Dr. Petrovich. Locate which building houses muzzle gear, and somehow destroy this terrible, terrible weapon. It's a big job, Solid Snake. A very big job. It's the biggest mission one man has ever been sent on. Fifteen good snake men have already gone in and not a single one has come back. We can't afford to lose the rest of the squad. We're counting on you and you alone. But the decision has to be yours. We can't order you in there to face almost certain death. Will you do it, knowing the one chance in a million you have of coming out alive? Do you still volunteer? Sir. Yes, sir. Good. You'll leave in an hour, said Commander South, nodding. We haven't a moment to spare, but first, get rid of that uniform you're wearing. South scowled at the crisp olive drab fatigue suit that covered Solid Snake's muscular body. We don't want you wearing or carrying anything that links you to your unit. This mission is top secret. We're issuing you a special camouflage suit. Pick it up at the quartermasters, put it on, and be back here at 1400 hours. No dog tags. Wear no identification of any kind. Take nothing else with you that might connect you to Foxhound and the Snake Men with the exception of this compass. Is that clearly understood? Nothing. Yes, sir. Justin saluted snappily, turned on his heel, and marched out the door. And as that door to the command center closed behind Haley, Commander South sighed deeply and rubbed his hand over his brow. Do you think he bought it? asked General West softly. Haley? He'll do as he's ordered. He's the best of the snake men. I hate to lose him. 
He's highly trained and qualified. It galls me to have to sacrifice Solid Snake. But that's the way it has to be if we're to stop this madman Kateffi and his new infernal deadly weapon, Metal Gear. Tell me about the Snake Men. Who are they? For a fraction of a second, South hesitated. This information on the squad was highly classified, top secret, but West was his new second-in-command, and therefore entitled to be brief. Codename Snake Man is a unit that doesn't officially exist. You won't find them on any roster in the Pentagon, but somewhere in Utah, in a site all deep underground, a picked elite force of 30 young Marine officers has been going intensive anti-terrorist training. It's a different kind of training from anything you've ever imagined, West. In what way? General West asked curiously. In addition to being chosen for their courage, their intelligence and loyalty, for their incredible physical stamina and coordination, the Snake Men have been taught to survive with their bare hands. They've learned to create equipment and weapons out of nothing more than a hostile terrain. Any kind of terrain, from big city to deepest jungle to driest desert. At the same time, they've been getting top secret training in 21st century weapons that the world believes are still only on the drawing boards. I'm proud to say that our snake men are trained to handle virtually anything. But, most important of all, this unit has been selected for their intelligence and swiftness of mind. The snake men have been trained to use their brains, to outthink their opposition, to reject themselves into the actual mindsets of the enemy, so that they can strike first, just like the snake for which they are named. Snake men use their brains before their guns in any situation, even when it threatens their own lives. Yet they obey without thought or question the orders of a superior officer. In a world filled with warfare and terrorism, where space age technology has made the destruction of Earth more than a possibility, the snake men have been chosen to be its saviors. And Haley, as I said, Justin Haley is the best of the snake men. He'll be almost impossible to replace, but we have no choice. Metal Gear is the most serious threat to democracy we've ever been up against. It is a weapon of unlimited potential for destruction. The future of the free world depends on our finding it and destroying it. If you're going to use Solid Snake as a diversion device, then why did you give him the compass? prompted West. It's a phony. It's just an ordinary government issue compass. Nothing special about it. It's just something for Haley to hang on to. But we will definitely be tracking him. The real homing device is a microscopic electronic unit sewed into the left sleeve of his new camouflage suit. That way Jennifer can pinpoint him for radio transmission. Jennifer, you told Haley Diana would be transmitting over the radio. Commander South chewed at his lip. Jennifer will also be transmitting, but Solid Snake won't actually pick up her signals because she'll be on a different frequency. He'll get Diana's instead, and she'll lead him around with false clues for as long as possible so that we can buy a little time to set up the real raid. So Haley is being is to be used as nothing more than a decoy? General West looked puzzled. I'm afraid so. We're sending him in to create a diversion, a smokescreen. Then the real attack by a full forces of Foxhound Command can take Colonel Katefi by surprise, catch him off guard, defeat him, disarm Metal Gear, save as many of us snake men as are still alive, and rescue Dr. Petrovich and his daughter. The commander smiled very sadly, and West could see the pain in his eyes. It was obvious that Commander South hated the deception of being forced to practice on his Marine Captain, Justin Haley. Captain Haley. Solid Snake is brave and loyal and very fast on his feet. Most of all, he's logical and quick thinking. Of all the Snake men we have left, he'll buy us the most time. So what you're saying is that Captain Haley is expendable, asked West. Commander South sighed hopelessly.